Hi, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math's Problem of the Week. This week, our problem is urn A contains four white balls and two red balls. Urn B contains three red balls and three black balls. An urn is randomly selected, and then a ball inside is drawn out and removed. We then repeat this process. What is the probability that the first ball drawn is red, given that the second ball drawn was black? So this is a conditional probability problem, um, which means that which mean that, that it can be written like this, the probability that the first ball is red given that the second ball is black, um, which also in terms of the definition of a conditional probability is equal to is equal to the probability that the first ball is red intersection with the second ball being black over the probability that the second ball is black. Um, so uh, I'm going to just draw out the urns to help us visualize this a little bit more. So now that we have a little diagram of what the urns have inside of them, what we can do is we can solve for the two probabilities and then put them into a fraction and solve for what the entire probability of this is. So we're going to first solve for the numerator, the probability that the first is red intersection with the second is black. And so to begin, in terms of the different scenarios for randomly drawing from each of these urns, there's four different scenarios. So the scenario where uh, the second is black has, uh, there's two choices basically for that. So in total, um, the chances of the second urn being drawn from, uh, with a black ball is one half. So we're just gonna add that at the beginning. And then saying that the first ball is drawn from urn A and, um, and we get a red ball just from looking at what's in urn A, we know that it's 2 over 6. And then the probability of choosing the second urn, because we want the second ball to be chosen as a black ball, is again 1 half. And then the probability of actually choosing a black ball is 3 over 6. And then we're going to uh, repeat this process again if the ball is drawn from actually this um, second urn first, urn B. So once again, it's 1 half. And then times the probability of a ball being drawn from urn B um, saying that it's a red ball would be 3 over 6. Once again, the probability that we choose from urn B again is 1 half. And then because there's no replacement involved in this problem, the probability of us choosing a black ball um, after, after already having chose a red ball from urn B is um, 3 over 5. So we can rewrite that a little bit. And that ends up coming out to be about 7 over 60. So then moving on to the denominator, the probability that the second ball chosen is black by itself. Um, once again, we add another one half in front just because that's the probability of the entire event happening. And then, so uh, if the first ball is drawn from urn A, um, the probability of that happening is again just one half because there's two urns. And the uh, probability that um, Oh, I'm sorry. The probability of drawing the second ball from urn B would be one half because there's two urns. And then the probability of drawing the second ball being a black ball is once again three sixths. 
And then moving on, so to begin the probability that the first ball is drawn from urn A, it would be a red ball. And then um, that the second ball would be drawn from urn B would be one half. And then choosing a, a red ball, we would have three over six. And then choosing the second ball, it would be one half, um, just choosing urn B. And then once again, choosing a uh, black ball for the second ball, as we can see from actually what we've done abun above in terms of the second ball is black. It's 3, 6 times 1 half times 3 over 5, because there's no replacement involved. And then we have to take into account the instance where perhaps when we draw the first ball, we actually draw it from urn, or from the second urn, urn B, and we draw a black ball for the first ball. So in that case, the chances of drawing a black ball for the first ball are 3 over 6. Then times um, the probability of drawing from urn B once again. And then because there is no replacement involved, it would once again be 2 over 5 for drawing a black ball for the second ball. So we can rewrite this just a little bit. So rewriting this, uh, what it actually ends up coming out to be is about 1 fourth. So now we have the numerator and the denominator in terms of conditional probability. So we can just put those both into a fraction and solve. So in the end, the conditional probability uh, that the first ball is red given that the second ball drawn was black is is 7 over 60 over 1 fourth, which ends up coming out to be about 7 over 15. So that's all we have for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this problem. Please watch some more of our videos on our YouTube page. Uh, follow us on Facebook and subscribe on Twitter. Thank you.